Tell me, tell me when you're ready. All right, we are good. All right, so hello everyone. I am here with uh, Mix and Moon Knight, and today we're going to talk about the character we talked about that we said we'd try last time, which is Byron. Yay. More Byron. Hello. Hello. Okay, so I'm definitely I'm definitely starting because I'm very excited to say this. Uh, so last okay. time I was like, I hate Byron. I I don't like him very much, and I played a grip of games with him just to make sure that I could be able to talk about him. And man, I was a hundred percent wrong. This character is fun and great. <laughs> I don't know about great, but yeah, he can be fun. I think he's at least good to grip. Like yeah, I don't know. I I'd, I'd say he's a four out of five. I wouldn't say he's a like a four point five out of five or a you know near the top, but I, I think he's stronger than baseline or mid. You know, I would. I would say that using that tier, that judo is a two. Uh, I mean judo, judo and Borneo are actually one, right? Along with the general. Right, but if you're calling Byron a four, then like, what are your standards? Uh, I mean that that's that's what I say. Um, I've not played three point five seven. In, a long in that case, time, I, I could downgrade him to like three point five to three point seven five. Or, like I think he's better I mean, than mid, but he's not. I'd put him at the low end of A or the top end of B, you know, if we're doing a different tier list mm -hmm. system. We should probably talk about his character before. Yeah. How good the building they are. So, Byron has five mask counters, which alters current life each beat. He loses one mask each time he takes damage. Set up, you have a mask for every four life you begin with, so you'll start with five. Trash any excess masks. Uh, when you take damage, you deplete a mask, and at the start, your life becomes three times the number of masks you hold, to a minimum of one. So when you start the game, you immediately take five damage. Yep. Um, and his life will go, what, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3, 1? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much... Yeah, you can live with your mask. So where do we want to start? Because I'm not sure, like, where you should, where we should start talking with Byron. Like, we can start on, you know, the this end. I think, or I think we should start... We should start on the UA. The UA is very crucial yeah. to Byron. Um, because this UA is actually really bonkers, right? Right. Like not looking at any of his cards, just knowing that he's like a heavy. Um this heavy says you can only take three damage per turn. And yeah, what, what else do you want on a heavy? Right, like what else do you want on a heavy? Um, right. Uh, you take you take five damage uh, instantly, uh Sarah said, but then you can only take three damage per turn. Sure. Uh, which means basically, if you deal, which essentially rounds up to taking four damage per turn, I guess. Sure. Um, so basically, if you can just deal five damage per turn, you kill them before they kill you. Right. Yes. And uh, you have worth noting that at both one and two masks, you are in danger of dying outright. I mean, you're very yes. It's hard to prevent that, but like, you're not safe at, at two masks, and you're definitely not safe at one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, you can go to zero. So he has, he has a, a, a weird thing with life, right? Where it doesn't matter how much damage he takes as long as he outframes. And outfrading really just means dealing as much damage as possible. Um, so in, in that regard, he's pretty different from every other character, just from this way alone. It's also relevant to notice that, you know, healing against Byron is amazing. So we talked about Magdalena for uh, a couple of rounds back. Uh, Priestess against Byron is amazing. Uh, I mean, uh, the problem with uh, Blessing is that it doesn't deal damage, but yep. attacks like um, Daijin's um, uh, I was saying Denial, but it's not Denial, it's... Uh, boom. Boom. Yeah, his, his UA. Uh, is like a uh, unique pace is amazing because it heals both of you and you don't care about healing Byron because he he doesn't do anything with his extra life counters <laughs> so all things that heal both players are amazing uh, in a matchup against Byron sure. because he never heals uh, with the exception of his uh, finisher oh but uh, this, yeah yeah, it's it's his heal, right? I think it's um, funny that Grasp is 
like just as good as strike against Byron. Usually, right? Usually, yeah, yeah. usually. I mean, uh, so almost. That's not always true because, like, you have the the stun guard. But I, I guess it's yeah. more like the amount of damage that you deal Byron. As long as you're like, especially grasp if you're going first, where he doesn't get his armor that he'll get on, uh, like faceless and heartless. Like dealing yeah. one is, or even more funny, like something like blast from Klaus and Winhall. Mm. Like deal you one just damage and you just take three. Yeah. All right. So I mean, yeah, all all those things are like. Uh, Damage out of place is amazing against Byron. Things that ignore Soak and ignore Stun Guard are amazing against Byron, uh, because he doesn't have a lot to do against those things. Uh, so, and I think we should go to like the styles, what they do, and then we talk about like because he has no Stun Guard in his kit, he only has the Stun Immunity and Soak. Yeah. Or armor. I'm sorry. So yeah. Let's. Let's start with Faceless. It's his red style. It's got 0 to 1 range. It's got plus 1 power, plus 0 prio and guard. On hit, it gives him armor 4, and he gets plus 4 priority next beat. Yep. Uh, I think this is like his catch-all card, right? Because like with the rest of his kit, this is the card that like, lets him do whatever, I guess, um, yep. against F- Faceless in mid-range. Yeah, faces is his best thing uh, because he, it's, it's like the only thing he has to fall back on if things go wrong. So, I you, you need uh, faceless. To run I like that kids. even if you miss the hit effective armor four, that you still get the plus four prio next week. And plus four prio is, you know, battery's still battery's better on Byron than it is on Cadenza. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Byron, Byron wants to go first, but. Yeah, he doesn't have stats for it. Yeah. Overall, Whereas Cadenza doesn't care. He has Iron Body, and Iron has essentially the opposite. I mean, this is Since he has a few effects that give Iron on him. I mean... Yeah. You kind of have... Um, it's called a Stun Guard 2 Anti on... Um, on Deathless. Yeah, Deathless. I, I have an Anti-Stun Guard on this thing. <laughs> uh, um, that is a card, yeah. All right, so I because I just don't feel like there's a lot to say about faceless that you can't say about the other cards. Um, I mean, now, the uh, thing about faceless is his. It's just his, you know, good style. Yep. It, there is nothing to say about it. It's a plus zero to one att- uh, attack range, plus one power. Yeah, I if mean, you I go before your opponent. Serviceable... Like, sometimes you can't... Not everything can be some tricky, weird shape, you know? Sometimes you just yeah. need to be able to, to actually play the, game, exactly. the regular battle mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the problem yeah. with Faceless is it works only against so many characters. Because yeah. characters that has, like, t- plus two speed on their kit, uh, like, uh, we talked about Demetrius before, uh, like, last time we talked, um, Faceless is basically... It's super hard to play faceless um, because your, your opponent will stun you out uh, with a. There are so many moves that go before it and just stuns you out. Uh, I just no stun guard. It's like faceless strike. Uh, actually, where there's just a zero, you know. I... Well, it it has it has no max no um, match range, right? No. Oh, no. yes. Medium trial. It it has wanted to land. It's okay. Like it's okay. Yeah. You know. Like and the plus four pro- that that armor four on hit is not the only thing that's relevant on this card to like oh I'm not gonna take damage so I'm not gonna lose a mask but that's not the only thing this card does plus four prior next turn is huge yeah exactly so uh, you know what I said like armor four seems like an amazing thing uh, but armor four usually doesn't work against the characters that you wanted to work against right because it's like the heavy hitters that just gonna hit you for a bunch of damage and it's not uncommon for those characters to hit for five, uh, and if you take one damage, you lose a mask. So even if it's like, oh, I traded, um, you, you can't use like faceless grasp against a strong, uh, stronger character because sometimes the soak four doesn't help. Um, yeah, this yeah. Is very true. 
I can't argue that. Like, I don't think. I think the armor of war is occasionally useful, and it's not even really the the key part. I think the plus four prime next turn is the the real big part. Yeah, and arguably, arguably, it's more important to make them spend force to get power. Yep. Okay. It, it's really rare. It's really rare for a pair that goes after phase loss, right? That is slower than phase loss, to not already have four power. Correct. Really, mm -hmm. really rare. So I do like that because, like we said, when we get to Breathless, we'll talk about it, that you're almost always anti stun guard with Breathless, or Deathless, rather, um, mm -hmm. that taxing them if they're afraid of uh, Faceless or, you know, not usually Heartless, but Faceless in particular, like taxing their their force is not irrelevant. Yeah. Another thing about this style is, this style is normal, right? He does not have any other normal styles. Right. No. His other styles are all pretty specific, and he can get more specific. Um, so, yeah, so Faceless is like the normal style. So it, it, won't, like, it doesn't make sense without looking at the rest. But once you see the rest, you'll, you'll look at Faceless and go, thank God I have an actual style I can use at range 2, for example. Like, yeah, we talked about Rush. <laughs> an actual this normal style. point blank, but like, it's his inside your minimum, his minimum range option. Yeah, I mean, he has he he hates switch less than a lot of characters, but he still doesn't love it. So, I mean, switch doesn't do a lot of for him. So, so it's just his worst faceless. Yeah, I guess. All right, I so mean, let's, let's I, move on, and I want to know what yeah. do, what do we want to talk about first: heartless or deathless? I felt like we could go up in range because uh, so. Uh, it's usually like zero range is switch, then you have faceless, which is one range, then heartless, which is two range. Um, well, I mean, we have two. soulless, but I want to save soulless for last. Yeah, soulless okay. is good luck. Yeah. Heartless is better than. All right, so let's start with heartless. Uh, sure. So let's get plus one to two range, plus one power, plus one prio, plus zero guard. Uh, it has two effects. If you hit at range three, you get plus two power and you ignore armor. And when you do damage, you get armor four. Uh, so, man. Yeah. So, Heartless Grasp as an opener is like a scary thing that you have to play around. Yeah. Uh, Heartless Grasp as an opener also loses to a lot of bursts. Sure. Which is. <laughs> but, like, you know, that, that you is can, like um... the mix up, right? If you're, oh, do you want to burst against Byron? Uh... Yeah. I, yeah. I have no problem with bursting against Byron. Uh, because he loses his... Uh, once you played Heartless, uh, you lose his to drive, like, almost always. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this is his plus prio option. Correct. Uh, yeah, but it's fast to you get plus one. So, yeah, you really need to keep it. Yeah. Yeah, I so, just like the threat it provides. You know, on turn one, like, oh. Heartless Grasp is scary. Oh, I mean, Heartless Grasp is scary. It is a scary combination card, and it's something that you have to be, like, worried about. Uh, once again, there are characters that you can't play it against, and that's kind of the thing about Byron, right? So, uh, we talked about a, a bunch of characters that have, like, their niche earlier. Uh, Byron's niche is that he can't fight at the same range that he fought at last time. Uh, so Grasp becomes his, like... He wants to move his opponent one space uh, to be at optimal range all the time. And Heartless is like my favorite card because Heartless does so much for Byron. I agree with that. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I mean, the one, plus one to two range is not as awkward uh, as it is for a lot of characters because he has s small amounts of movement. Yep. Um, but he has some movement out of his opponents in um, in both uh, is it uh, Deathless and uh, in uh, Smoke and in Breathless. All those three styles like moves him around or moves his opponent around uh, in addition to Grasp and Dash. Yeah, so I think when I was playing with him, the, the takeaway that I had is like I think his other styles are really flashy and they do all do exceptionally cool things. Uh, but man, Heartless was my yeah. workhorse, right? Like Heartless Drive, Heartless Grasp. I just did a lot with Heartless specifically. Just that plus one prio ended up for him being really, really good. Heartless you know, Burst? 
Heartless Burst, also great. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. so, yeah. So there are some things. Uh, like we said, uh, Heartless has a unhit effect, while some of Byron's uh, effects are uh, on damage as well, I think. If I don't. On the way around. Right. So Heartless has, is his yeah. damage effect. It also has the hit effect, but the hit, yeah. it is good but, damage. I, I mean, the hit, the hit uh, range effect, I meant. Sorry, I was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all the range effects on hit, by the way. Yeah, so it's... Yeah. It's, 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 the has a team that's half It's uh, three, four, five, and one, right? You and know, zero. The effect that used to be H2, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, originally, uh, Faceless had, uh, like... Uh, hits game plus four priority and hit range or damage range two plus four armor or something, okay. or the other way around. I can't remember, but it, it, it all his effects had like a specific range where it, they were uh, more efficient. That said, faceless effect of plus four priority was what you were going for anyway. Uh, the soak four or armor four was just like a bonus. Um, that if you if you hit it, fine. If you didn't, you didn't care. The because... funny thing about Heartless is a friend of mine uh, likes Sarah a lot, and I'm like, man, yeah. your death, your hollow grasp is definitely not my Heartless grasp. Let me tell you what. <laughs> like, but that like, I mean, Sarah, uh, is yeah. really Sarah has all to, to Sarah as a being able to like really defeat heavies. I don't know if it's quite as important to Byron, but like just having that option is huge. Um, it's very, very important that the thing goes armor. Because heavies can't really get power against Byron, right? Because he has masks. It doesn't matter if you're dealing 5 damage or 8, he's only taking one mask. And so yeah. what the heavies usually use to win trades is to have armor. And Hathor just says, no, you don't have armor anymore. I'm going to deal with Wrath is 5 damage, guaranteed, and if there is, it is literally impossible for you to watch anything. Yeah. So, if we're talking about Hollow for uh, Seraphina as a counter to Byron's Heartless, I mean, check the stats. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not quite, it was just... But Hollow Grasp is still good for Sarah, right? Like, it still does yeah, things. Yeah, and, and, the thing, and the thing is, uh, here's the difference, right? The uh, Hollow Grasp is a mix-up for Seraphina, and it's cool. a mix-up that Byron doesn't have, because he doesn't. He can't really play into mix-ups. That's his weakness with his QA. Uh, Serafina also has the option to swap into her um, projection, right? Yeah. So uh, the I mean, Serafina yeah, is they're actually they're not 100 equitable, right? But they're similar yeah. shapes in a way. And like I and I guess where if you know if you like how Hollow Grasp feels, then Heartless feels that except better. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it's what you're going for, right? So Heartless is... Heartless is amazing. It's a super cool style. Uh, and it does a bunch of work, right? Especially if you get the hit range uh, 3 yep. effect. Uh, the problem with Heartless uh, being that... Um, if you have an opponent with plus 1 priority... Uh, you have a problem clashing because you, you sh uh, if if you play heartless drive for example, let's say you play have heartless drive, your opponent plus a plus one drive as well, now you're stuck. Yeah. Uh, because for drive to hit with heartless, which was one of the combinations you talked about, you have to be at range one. Or you can be at range uh, uh, three. Or four. I mean, sure, but that, but but then you're not playing Heartless. Then you're playing like Deathless, or because once again, uh, Byron has problems with staying at the correct range, uh, and the only way for him to move around is using these weird styles like so smoke and stuff. Uh, drive, you want to save for either Faceless or Soulless. If you play a Heartless Drive. You will probably do in melee, melee uh, because most characters want to get close. Um, now you're standing in the decision of okay, what can I do? I can burst, and I can smoke, and I can dodge, right? Can All other clash. options are. I mean, you can clash, uh, but your opponents, 
not going to play a um, a burst. I will say uh, that, like, well, right. we mentioned it earlier about Heartless Burst. Uh, Heartless Burst, the turn after Faceless, is obviously pretty absurd. Mm-hmm. I mean, most... Um... Most heartless are are really good after that, right? As long as, especially if you're like range three, you can just like cast a shot. Anything is the burst, you just take the damage. Um, of course, you're usually going to be a range one because you don't like to be a range one until the opponent's moved to range one, which makes heartless burst super fast. Puts it range three, deals six damage. Mm-hmm. Also beats burst for the measure. Sure. So let's move on to the heart. The yeah. This is the card Definitely. that I had the hardest time using effectively in this game. This is uh, amazing. Uh, you mean you mean before before force combine because after force no no even with this card is basis card because to well, so let me it's range one to three it's deathless it's range one plus one to three uh, plus two power minus one prio no guard whenever you would take more than one damage take one damage and said hit optional range four push or pull the opponent one to three. Uh, every time I played this, I anti the stun guard, obviously. Um, and you played it with smoke, right? Yeah, usually. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, that's like, what, okay. This part of the guards. problem is I want to use smoke with all of his guards, like mm, yeah. not with heartless. Because then it's kind of not with heartless, but, but yeah. like I just and faceless, faceless. Cool. Yeah, faceless. But like these other three, I just, I always wanted to use smoke with it. Like, but outside of that. That's is this was the minus one prio made this harder to use than I thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a couple with the minimum range is not easy to use. But yeah, this is essentially his ten immune card. His ten immune card is not ten immune because soul assists. But essentially you went to stun guard and everything is ten immune. You still lose to ignore stun guard, but anything else you just I got Take hit. Damage, you lose a mask, and just I got hit back. exactly with yeah. that in one of the games I played. I got hit with an ignore stun guard on Deathless, and it fell oh, the worst. Yep, that's just really bad. Deathless is a really good card, though. Oof. I mean, but plus two powers, so, a, like plus two powers, a really outrageous amount of damage. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, in my experience, and I know. People sometimes don't want to hear that, maybe, but you know that's why I'm here. Uh, <laughs> uh, Deathless. I-, I played a lot of Deathless one uh, before you anted stuff, and then you had to play like Deathless Strike or Deathless Shot, uh, and people were always prepared for that. So I played Deathless Grasp a bunch of times uh, because Prior Four is a good place to be, right? Uh, Especially against slower characters that were that you managed to get like you dashed before them or behind them or whatever, and then you just like throw them into the wall uh, so they can't hit you anymore because the unhit effect is relevant uh, and people forget about it because the obviously like good stuff is in the first part where you can't take more than one damage. That's an amazing effect, uh, but the unhit effect is there for a reason, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, it I was it was problem. there when people played grasp, right? Now you have my problem smoke. Is like with when we're talking about grasp and like or smoke, right? Because it has the the same uh, hit effect. Yeah. Uh, outside of Solus, I I rarely had grasp for Deathless because I always wanted to use grasp with every single one of his cards, every yeah. single one of his stuff. Like of, of all the characters <laughs> I've played, I think Byron loves a grasp maybe more than most. I know, and I love grass more <laughs> than most. Says, well. so, he says. He says after the Rookie episode. But you know, By- Byron probably loves grass most uh, of all characters, and that is because all his styles can use them. And uh, you know, Deathless has negative one priority, so it's like, why would I use this with the grass, right? Yep. Uh, but the thing is, Deathless grass which seems like a silly thing to do, uh, clashes what most people do, and that is drive into you. Yep. And if you clash the drive, uh, then you can go Deathless Strike. And def- Deathless Strikes clashes yeah, your sure. opponent's shots. And after you have played Deathless 
grasp and deathless strike, you go for a deathless burst. Because if your opponent bursts to get uh, like into range, you still hit the range uh, requirement for your deathless trigger. And your opponent probably misses. Because most characters don't have that range that Byron has the potential to get, right? So that is how you play Byron in like more than the first level. <laughs> where Dude, you, I, die. I, you actually said that, and I'm happy that you mentioned that, because I was thinking, I'm like... Yo, MK's a lot better than me because I did none of that, and I thought I was like, this card well. well this is, this is like, what you need to do. Here's this is what like, you need to do. Here's how you surgically dismantle opponents with this one card that you thought was hard. I'm like, yeah, like all that tracks. Wow, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, you have I to look at your true, opponent, right? like, what you're facing for this to be right. true. But but it's if you play Deathless Grasp, you clash your opponent's drive. If your opponent is like a zero priority brawler with like decent stats and stuff like that, and if he plays like a shot at that point, you're happy because then you push him back and then you push him to the corner and you're fine because his shots no longer hits you, <laughs> usually. Yep. Uh, so so you have to like check every step of the way, and if he, I mean, of course he can have something tricky, and I'm. It's hard once you don't have, you know, a character that you actually face off against. Um, because suddenly you're up against uh, Demetrius. And uh, I would say that in, against Demetrius, it's just say, okay, this card can only be paired with Smoke. Because he's going to go before me no matter what I do. And he's probably going to hit me in the face for some amount of damage. And that damage will be one and I will have a uh, stun guard on this tech. Uh, the alternative is, it's hard, right? Wanna, and the it, thing I really want to also point out about Defos is, it is not just a push, that is also a pull to set up Solus. Oh time. yeah, I mean, in, in a Why very... Why would you set up Solus in, like, intentionally, when you can just push the I'm, opponent? Never I use mean, Solus, it's, 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 it's not always that way. Uh, slow Rangers, now I can't think of any Slow Rangers. Um, so just usually die to drive, which is like a lot of them. <laughs> um, but Trias technically is one of them. Yeah, yeah. Trias, okay, sure. Against Trias. Uh, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll just see. Uh, Arya in some of her styles is kind of slow. Uh, you have a Jenna. Which... Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Arya? <laughs> Wait, you mean plus four prior Arya? <laughs> I mean, the, I mean, it's one of her styles, right? You mean you can't check out a, a character and say you that. Mean, oh, ionic, you mean Ionic? You mean you oh, mean? Okay. Um, yeah, I get the point. The red there. style. But wait a minute. Uh, well, he has she has no negatives. <laughs> uh, one of the things that I would do yeah. is, you know, you know, once their dodge was down, I'm like, oh, well, now I get to move to the middle and set up my spiritual shot, or in this case, uh, my my solar shot. Um. Like, once their dodge is down, I'm like, oh, I'll take my free damage. You know, move to the board, soul is shot, or... And Deathless sets that up, which I don't think is totally irrelevant. Yeah, right? that's fair. Like, guaranteed damage, go. Um, it can happen. It's just hard to um, be a bit full after they, they dodge, right? Because you have min range. You're not going to stick around range. So, so what I was trying to say was that uh, the reason it has pulled is because there are characters like Rukyuk where you just want to get him to you, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if they play uh, anything mid-range, because they start at that range for you yeah, just win. You just win the, uh, the beat. I'm, I mean, it's, it's, a pos it's a possibility, right? Um, so... Uh, if you're up against Rukyuk and he he like anti's his push shell and stuff like that, and you just uh, played heartless drive, um, sorry, not heartless, uh, fearless, uh, deathless drive, <laughs> then you can get in and pull him to you. So, yeah. But it's it's a super niche thing against rangers. I would say, uh, if someone plays an apocalyptic something you can move in and pull him to you so he misses I guess uh. <laughs> uh, well, uh, apocalyptic is weird. a really bad style to use against Byron ever I would not I don't yeah, ever play that again it has armor it has armor it's fine sure you know what's better though avoid a range tax at range 3 plus <laughs> <laughs> like Fair that enough. card just kind of crushes him yeah. yes that, that's 
that yeah. said, if you're if you're if you're there for to trade, which some character is, and don't want him to miss you, hint hint, nudge nudge, uh, then sometimes apocalyptic would maybe be better because you don't use two scrolls. Uh, no, you don't. Uh, no, uh, it, there is no reason. There is no reason. There is no reason. It's just better. Okay. There is there is a reason. No, there isn't. There isn't. Yeah, no. There isn't. There's, 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 to be fair, you never want the power. We have mentioned yeah. Rook and we've mentioned uh, Demetros, and I just want to point out that you're a lot better than me by like thinking of those because I I look at those and I'm like I think I lost this game at character select, right? Like I if I'm playing Demetros as uh, or if I'm if I'm facing off against Demetrius, I'm like this sucks, right? Like I am definitely taking one damage five turns and losing the game. Uh, uh, six turns probably, but six yeah. Six turns, sure. Most likely. Yeah. Uh, Dem Demetrius won't win on five hits. He will do one 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 one, and you're dead, like yeah. six times. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, you have well, a counter. You have breathless. Yeah, you should probably talk about. All right, yeah. so let's talk about Breathless, because I originally hated this card, and then I'm like, oh, this card's a lot. This, of all the cards in his kit, uh, this was the one that I thought was really bad, and it was the one that I got a lot of, like, sneaky use out of. So Breathless is plus three to four range, plus zero power, plus zero prio, plus zero guard, start optional, teleport to any space behind the opponent, hit at range five, armor three and chip two. Uh, so, like, the, the first thing that comes to mind is, look, if they actually corner you, you know, like, you're in the corner and they're right next to you, you get to, like, free teleport across the board. Like, that's the first one. Also, I think this is one of my favorite uh, styles of pair of dodge. Mm. It's weird to pair with dodge. It sometimes, yeah, sometimes it makes dodge guaranteed. But eh? if you have, I mean, I mean, you have it as an option, and that's good, I guess. But yeah. I would never pair fa uh, faces with the dodge. Um, well, what else? It, you uh, I mean, breathless, breathless. Uh, I, I would pair. I mean, with Byron, I'll probably switch dodge if I can. Yeah, if mm -hmm. you can. Switch or faceless. Switch dodge is tough, right? Because if you like, if you get clash there, now you're in real trouble. And I'm not sure if you get clashed with Breathless and you can't use the Breathless part to get out, you might be pinned. Or you can get so, out of, like, the cool part about Breathless is against a lot of attacks that you think might be coming. Often, the the start optional is the dodge, right? Like, you might know, but, yeah, you know, if you're going to bring yourself to range 3, you're going to still I mean, miss, but, like, maybe so will they. It's, it's true, but the problem being if your opponent has... Uh, like a full board range attack, and you play breathless uh, dodge. Now you're forcing yourself into the corner once more, and you don't have breathless up. That's the drawback. Yeah, um, having breathless down when you need breathless, totally, yeah. because breathless is the answer to being cornered, right? Breathless yeah. and dodge, of course. And you have both down. You you can't just sit there and well, you sit there and play solos. But assuming the opponent's not actually at range one, you sit there and do nothing. And, and I just remembered a character that you can actually solid. use uh, Deathless against uh, because uh, Syndra is the Syndra Phoenix form is amazing uh, to play uh, uh, Deathless. Oh, against. the chip too. Sorry. If they pass you. Is that the no, no, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Deathless, so you can actually pull her in, so you don't die to a random. Oh yeah, the does. one, the one slow ranger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the one slow ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we could talk about it. I played Syndra last night, and I'm like, man, this is kind of weird. Like, I now that I'm down this low, all I want to do is hit you once to kill you, and all of my cards are going to go infinitely slow. Um, you have one fast card. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, one plus one. Yeah, you have a uh, heartless, right? Essentially. I'm sorry? You have, you have essentially heartless, so... Yeah, yeah, you have uh, the one fast card in Phoenix Form Syndrome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, also have, you also have Perilous, which is amazing. Plus two. Uh, if you hide V again. If you're hard red, you win the game. <laughs> yeah. Which is something that you can actually do sometimes. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. even beat all dodges. 
um, because it has two main range. Doesn't matter. I just found like what I was looking for uh, that uh, you know you uh -huh. wanted to, that pull for, and I had to tell you. So but I guess now I, I, I want to come it's... back to this breathless because I, I yeah. specifically breathless dodge because when I look at the rest of his kit, I don't want to use faceless. Though I did, I definitely don't want to use heartless, and I don't want to use deathless because I want to get advantage of both the plus two power and the. You know, only taking one damage effect. So, really, it was like switch or breathless, and you know, I'm not sure. Well, so you're at range you do one. faceless. You do faceless, right? Faceless wins you the fast turn really well. This is a pretty good fast turn card. And I say, yeah, this is like, like why breathless when you can do faceless? Because breathless yeah. will set up uh, either heartless or deathless next turn. The thing is, this is a mix-up, and we talked about it like before. Uh, Byron likes to uh, change up his moves, like uh, and his ranges. And uh, the problem with playing um, faceless is that if your opponent knows that you're doing this all the time, they can just grasp you out of it because. Most characters has a plus one prio style somewhere in their kit, and if they do that against Byron, he just loses his uh, whole thing. Meanwhile, if he plays like something that goes before Faceless, it's usually okay to play Breathless. And Breathless is... It's like... I played... Uh, the other thing that I liked about uh, Breathless mm. is actually something that you mentioned with Deathless. Like, so you mentioned Deathless Grasp being prior for yeah. one thing that i did do with breathless was i had cornered my opponent so like uh they were here and i was here and i did mm. uh breathless drive you know mm. you don't get the you don't get the range five hit but i mean you still end up uh at prio four back at range you know what i mean or i guess you do get you would get what and how to, wait, what, what position what position were you at so this so, was no you I did get it there I had cornered my opponent and I did breathless dr or drives so you went to, all over way, to though. the corner hold on. so we weren't quite what? so I did this this was me yeah oh breathless breathless grass yeah yeah is that right yeah I would think it was right okay then you yeah. didn't you were cornered like, I'm, you were not. Uh, uh, yeah. It, 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 don't, it does not work if you're not cornered. It only works if you're not cornered. Uh, of course, it's uh, just being a three to four range style. It's also his range style. Yeah. Gas. That was. And you can drive from range six just to deal a bunch of damage. At range. Yeah, at range five, range four, it's fine. Yeah. It's slow, but I mean, against people that want to trade, it deals six damage. And that's yeah. all it matters, right? Because Bam doesn't give a shit about how much damage he takes. So, yeah, you just six damage as you. I also got I mean, super punished. If, I tried to do a breathless burst. So I'm like, hey, this seems like a plan. <laughs> so, okay, breathless right. grass in this position, if you were Byron, uh, like, Soulgate, move all over to the corner, hit yeah. them uh, to trigger, and then push them into the corner, and then you're fine, because you have... Extra bonus ranges on like all your things. Yep. No matter what. You can do heartless and or deathless. So. Any any shot at this location is fine for Byron, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Even a smoke just to cover dodge. Uh, the the problem with smoke is that it ignores your styles ranges. Mm -hmm. so, so you, you won't, won't get the natural corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Which but if you're trying to dodge. Or... Yeah. I mean, normally if your opponent isn't ranged focused or. Uh, your opponent knows what you're playing, uh, he will dodge into this. And once again, if your opponent uses a dodge here, a uh, deathless smoke is amazing because it pushes him right back to the corner again. Um, yeah. Because you can put him into the range you want him to be and then you just push him and push him again. Yeah. Well, um, the only problem with that is after deathless you have to play heartless shot. Yeah. And then you can flash it. Yeah, and you, and you basically become stuck, or you have to uh, yeah. heartless. But then it's fine, because right? then, then they're stuck and you're stuck, but you have 
Range cards, we don't have range cards. Yeah, so exactly. you just keep winning. You just keep winning mix-ups as long as they're far away. Yeah. The chip two on this is, just has to stay there. Is obviously really nice. I the armor never mattered in any of the games I played, just because like if I no, I don't think it ever matters ever. I I hit them at this range, so like they are stunned or they miss. You know, <laughs> or they hit back for three, and they need any power if they really need to. Yeah. So. The soak is relevant if you trade, um, and there are a few characters that can trade at ranges, like usually like the close ranges, range two and three, for about even damage with that Byron. Uh, the problem being that Byron has to go first in those cases, otherwise he loses. Uh, and usually, uh, opponents built to be at like range two or three has a standard spread of their uh, power so they have like plus one power plus one priority um let's say you f fight vana for example vana has a spread of plus one power over her styles i think statistically yeah. and yeah and she has a range two three where she wants to fight right yeah, um, yeah. and she has plus zero priority so basically vana versus uh, byron Byron has the advantage of having safe plays like, uh, and we're, we're gonna go, get over to Solus now, right? Yep. Um, Solus and Deathless and stuff like that. Meanwhile, Vana has the huge advantage of actually like being able to do nine damage in one hit, uh, which can be a one hit knockout from like a, two hits, two hits, and then you're possibly knocked out. And uh, Byron doesn't and, really have that. <laughs> right. I, and this was part of my problem with Breathless, is that it felt very niche. I'm happy I had it in my kit. When it was good, it was uh, it won me a beat. Um, yeah. Which is all you need from a kit, right? Yeah. But I, of all the styles that like I could use very often, this is one of the reasons that when I didn't want to switch dodge, it was like, mm. I'll use... I guess I will breathless dodge, uh, which is mm -hmm. riskier because it's the same prio, but I can position myself anywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about the next one. Uh, so this is his big card, right? The Solus is plus zero range, plus one power, minus four priority. It is stun immunity. It prevents yeah. all incoming damage. If you, on reveal at range one, so that when you flip your cards over, plus two power, and you chip them to, uh, as an end effect, deplete a mask, you are eliminated if you could not. But you don't take any damage. So when you play Solus, you will automatically lose a mask at the end of the turn, but you won't lose any other, um, you won't take any other damage. So you won't, you only lose one. Thoughts. <laughs> This, like, okay, looking at the rest of his kit, he looks like a ranger, he has three range, many range cards. And then Solas is a complete powerhouse at range one. And if you manage to corner Byron, and, and you are at range one, he just like, Solas shot, you're the one in the corner. You can dodge this. What is this? Eight damage? Eight damage. Uh, is that eight? And you can't lethal him. So you, you just die. You just die. It's, you just get six, it's six damage. Uh, no, chip two. It is no, ten. <laughs> ten damage. You count the chip, which you should. Yeah. Um. So this is just like a complete new and the counter dodge. Uh. Or also, any evasion. I will also uh, point out that that chip two. Um. I was really winning a game, and I'm like, we started next to each other. I'm like, he's definitely dodging this turn. I'm like, I'll trade three for two. And I'm like, I yeah, know you're going to dodge. That's fine. You know, you'll still chip two. I'll lose one mask. It's a down trade. It is, and, but I was already way yeah. ahead, so I'm like, I guess this is fine. Like, they put him in so good, <laughs> they kill him. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so the thing about Solus is that you don't trade up in life against it. You just don't. Um... What you want to do when a Solus either smoke or shot, shot is the usual one you yep. pair it with, uh, is coming up. You want to either 
soak it up as much as possible. If you have a style or an ability uh, that gets you soak, just play it. Because uh, Byron loses his uh, masks no matter what. Uh, if you have a, an ability to become stun immune or get stuff like that, that's fine. And Byron should always be afraid of opponents that has uh, effects that says, I dodge at range 1, 2, 3, yeah. right? Uh, because suddenly this becomes a mix-up. Even if Byron is in the corner and you're at range 1 and he, you know that Solus shot is coming, if you have this tech dodges at range yeah, you you mentioned having a stun First, enemy, and I totally eight. disagree. Uh, like if if you're against Solus, you really you don't need to hit them. Hitting them will do nothing, right? Hitting the opponent when they play Solus does absolutely nothing for that turn. Un unless you have the trigger on your hit ability, right? Sure. So, for example, um, Hekesh plays against Byron. He plays an assassin's whatever, basically, right? Uh, you hit Byron, and then you retreat any number of spaces you want. And Hakesh can basically just retreat to the other corner because he has Psycho and he has uh, yeah. anti darkness or token, or shadow, shadow step or token. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, just moving in. Uh, so I mean, some characters this doesn't work against, and in those cases, Byron has a really bad time once he hits range one. Uh, but because he's struggle then you know against someone like a catch, no matter what, like that is also a I'm gonna lose a character select kind of matchup. But so the thing is, also jumps to range one very often, right? So well, sometimes yeah. you can just like catch him and just play a raw solo, uh, which means your solo is are no longer telegraphed. That's that um, the thing. And also, he only has assassin, so if his assassin is down, you can just solo. I mean, that's fair. Uh, he has. Uh, Merciless. Merciless Grasp can actually ship you down, which is... Uh, yeah, Merciless has a dodge, right? You know, you know what did yeah. come up that was uh, pretty funny? Um, was I, I believe about... Merciless... Yeah. Oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Uh, I think Merciless has, if you have your Dark Force token, and your opponent is at range 1 or 2, maybe? Something like that? Or if you have hit them... It's something like that. Uh, then you have avoid his attacks. So yeah, uh, I mean, characters that have this dodge at range X, or uh, we talked Magdalena, right? Uh, if Magdalena plays a uh, blessing on your solace, especially if it's like yeah, safety blessing, that would be Sa safety worse. blessing against a solace uh, shot is like. Christmas come early, right? Yeah, hundred percent. If you if you safety blessing against Solus, that is all the world's all the best. Yeah, I mean you get the reposition, you get the heal because he ships you, right? So even if none is no one is damaged, he you will regain life. Uh, and stuff like that. Uh, you have the position now. But basically, yeah, you yeah. hit him while also getting to trance, while also not actually losing life. Yeah, uh, I only really, aside from once or twice, I only really used uh, that once actually um, that I mentioned just to get the chip two and trade three for two, trade down. Um, mm. Obviously, dodging a solace is the best feeling in the world, right? I'll do you three with my dodge. Like, Classic mm -hmm. repel style. Like, take three. Yeah, the, the point is, like, uh, you don't want to dodge Byron because Solus, right? But if you dodge on his Solus speed, it's like, okay, you just stay at range 1, uh, you take the chip, he takes the mask, it's not, like, a big deal, but the next turn, you're at range 1, and you don't have Solus, and so, now what, right? Yeah, now you're on especially, especially if you cornered yourself. If you cornered yourself, he has nothing. Yeah, yeah. there's nothing you can do. And the thing is, I I know we talked about like oh my god it's a soulless shot whatever, uh, but there are a bunch of characters that through sneaky means you know actually can dodge soulless shot, uh, in some way. So whenever you play soulless shot, like it seems oppressive once you're new to the game, uh, but if you know what your uh, what your opponent is going to do. 
there is play arounds, right? And usually these play arounds are easier than you think they are. <laughs> Let's say for that. Cer- for characters um, that can, right? There's a lot of characters, you know, th- and those are the same characters that are just going to get absolutely annihilated by, you know, a uh, uh, clockwork shot, so. Yeah. But, but, but you know, most, most characters have something like a pull one start of beats or something like that. And you can always play the pull one and dash to make Byron lose a solo speed, which is a safe thing, right? Uh, if you're playing Luke, play Eternal. I have Soak 6. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> it's like uh, you, you, you're you even fine with like losing that beat sometime because uh, you know what Byron is going to do. Uh, if you play a burst or you have a start of beat effect that does something, you know, whatever, it's fine. Sometimes just regaining resources, playing uh, trance, whatever, <laughs> you know, it's it's okay. It's, uh, it's part of Byron uh, being oppressive. Uh, but if you know that Byron is going to be oppressive... You use that time to, uh, you know, reactivate whatever you have, what your character is doing instead. Because I, I, yeah, know... I think of it as the opposite of uh, Caesar, right? When you're playing, like, Caesar's going to have his completely downbeat, right? It's like yeah. the opposite. He's taking five damage at the start, and he'll take three damage uh, at the end of his turn from Solus, but he's going to have a completely upbeat, right? So it's like almost the opposite feel of. Caesar, where because he's Byron, he has these negatives, but he gets a solo speed. Yeah, and and the thing is, the solo speed is clashable by characters that uh, we talked about earlier. Uh, Cadenza can play a clockwork burst, and suddenly things are awkward for Byron. Like <laughs> yeah, really sorry. awkward. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, burst. Uh, what the, the the issue with burst? I mean, burst is usually one of the the bases used to clash is that well that's one of the bases used to run away. So now he doesn't need chai, he doesn't need smoke. And yeah. he can usually drive. This depends on if you have dodge up or not. Yeah. Um yeah, because much. dodge is a better burst essentially. The thing is, uh, so once you're playing Byron, being cornered is not a problem. Your problem is being at range three while your opponent is at range two. Okay. Um so, Wait, what? Yeah, so I'm at range three. And my and your opponent, opponent is at range two. Is at range two. So here and here? Yeah. Like these two. This areas? is a much worse. This oh, is a much worse. Uh, yeah. yeah. Two and three. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's also worse if the opponent is cornered instead of you. Yeah, like if you're uh, at space two. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. also uh, that's also like a horrible thing. You want as Byron to have as much range between you and your opponent as possible, or be cornered by him, <laughs> which is <laughs> like a weird thing. Um, but, but yeah, Byron has a has a thing that specifically will solve a lot of his range problems. So let's talk about his uh, unique base. Yeah. So smoke is amazing. Uh, oh, smoke my. is. Do you flip it? Thank you. As I there you go. show my inability. So smoke is a unique base. It's got range 1 to 5. It does have an asterisk. So the attack's range is static 1 to 5. And it's not modified by any other effect or your style. Uh, it only does 2 damage. Uh, it's got prior 3 and 0 guard. As a hit optional, uh, it has a grasp effect of push or pull 1. I thought this yeah. card was really bad when I first read Byron's kit. And then I played Byron. And I'm like... Oh no! This kit, this card is great. Yeah. So, uh, smoke is amazing in Byron, but it would be horrible in like oh, all other characters. Could. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a worse so, hex, and hex is not even a good base. I mean, hex is a good base because it's in uh, Eric. So <laughs> I mean, what's uh? But yeah, I, I get, I guess what you're saying, right? What's what's Dolores' unique base? Isn't it similar? Which one? Is... No, I mean it has one range one to six, so it is similar in that regard. It, it's really uh, it's slow. Yeah. It's slower. It has guard and it has weird power. 
you know, because I think it's funny yes, that we talked about like what card do we do we does he love more than anything? And the answer was Grasp. And then it's like, so what if we took away some of the prio from Grasp, but instead gave a range one to five? Yeah. So smoke is amazing because it has the range it has. It also has prior three, which is amazing if you pair it with your plus zero priority styles, because characters that don't want to be at range against you usually have like a style that has plus one priority advance thing on it, right? Yeah. Uh, that's usually how it goes. Uh, the like, haha, I go in quickly and like uh, jab you in the nose, uh, hopefully. But they c usually can like. Uh, pair it with either drive or shot uh, at that, those ranges. And having prior three is amazing because then you clash them out because shot with plus one priority is three. And if you don't, then that's fine. They move in and you hit them with smoke and push them back slightly. Um, yeah. It's like it's it's like we said, it's good for Byron because it's it removes the awkward ranges of his kits, uh, kinda, yeah. um, and yeah, and I mean you can uh, like add stun guard to it to trigger deathless for sure. Yeah. That, that is said, what I now... used definitely the most. Yeah, with that was uh, mm -hmm. deathless smoke anti stun guard. So, so and then we go back to like what we talked about earlier, right? So Byron wants to trade five for a mask, right? And if you check out uh, what Deathless Smoke does, it deals four damage, <laughs> which is not what you want. You want one more damage out of this mm -hmm. somehow. Which is um, how, you, which is why you went the power. Yeah, yeah but, uh, so you have to. You also have to, to win the stun guard, which makes this really expensive. Yeah, um, and and that's kind of the thing about Byron. He needs a lot of force uh, to do all the things he wants to do. And uh, if you're up against Byron, always wait for him to anti first. Uh, unless you're Rukyuk, because Byron won't anti anything against Rukyuk unless he antis ammo. Um, <laughs> but normally, uh, you never want to anti uh, against Byron before he antis first, because all of his things are like, needs that slight push to be good. Uh, so Heartless is amazing if you anti-prior on it. Like, wow, suddenly this card became amazing. Uh, but without the plus two prior, it's uh, it's good. <laughs> yeah. But so is a lot of other things. Faceless, also like, oh, this is this needs... Faceless that's is the one that I auto always think about. Like, if you anti-prior on Faceless, and you then get the hit effect to like be reliably on yeah, the force, exactly. that's but, but then again... Now, now again, you need uh, the plus two force, right? Yep. Uh, so somehow you also have to in get switch into your kit, and Byron styles are too good, so you don't have time to switch, and you have a force problem. Uh, and that's yeah. the unfortunate truth. You know, there <laughs> of is Byron. there is a, a, a like a small silver lining, right? We talked about it earlier where a lot of the times they're going to be incentivized to anti-power to get around some of these armor effects, because they just need to do yeah. you one, right? And if you do threaten to hit them with, like, an armor four, um, you know, that's going to be tough for them. So you are you do get to tax them, which isn't the same as giving yourself force, except it means they can't counter-tax you at a later time by making you counter-anti-prio. Counter so, yeah. like, that's not it's a real thing. Yeah, and it, it also means, and this is kind of the most important thing, I think, uh, that they, if they use a dash when you anti stun guard for you, because you're doing a deathless smoke, and you feel like, haha, I'm gonna do this thing, and it's gonna be safe, and it's gonna be awesome, and they just dash between uh, before you, they do a switch dash, you're now down free force. Yeah. <laughs> and your opponent can, like, accumulate a force... Uh, faster than you usually because the thing about byron is if you lose two masks you're still above seven health and yep. the life trigger doesn't trigger before seven so you have to take three hits and once you have taken three hits you're in 
lethal range for most yes. characters. I will, that, that is yeah. definitely a thing that I that I was very keen in my mind, right? Where I'm, I'm going to get hit, or I'm going to lose three masks, and I'm going to mm. still, like, once I lose three, I, yay, I get my force, but also, I'm at six, and I'm, like, in lethal range. Yeah. And, and suddenly we're back at a problem that's with Byron. You need that one extra stat somewhere. Uh, to be good, to to feel like you you did it, you you uh, you played the attack pair that you know will actually go through, and sometimes you don't have that force, and sometimes you anti too aggressively, so suddenly you have not only do you have like a, a deficit of force, but your opponent also has uh, enough force to make you uh, make it scary for you, right. uh, and he can do things like. I don't know. Uh, anti plus two priority on a uh, grasp, or uh, and you're suddenly useless because now he will stun guard you out even if you played a heartless grasp because he played his hollow grasp <laughs> and it's suddenly faster than you. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> right? possible to kill Byron by only hitting him three times. Right, so you'll hit him twice. You'll lose two. Then he'll soulless, right, which will get him to third, and then you'll hit him for six. Yeah, I mean the thing about Byron is you can, in theory, some characters at least can hit for ten or twelve damage. Yeah. Um, it's it's far from impossible, right? Alexian, oh, I mean, for example. Yeah, I mean Alexian can definitely hit for. I play a lot of 12. characters, in fact, that hit for ten. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, in, in theory, I think Cadenza can one hit kill you um, if everything goes poorly for you. Uh, so that would be really hard. I think one of the finishes gets you. I mean, but... yeah, but even even so, if you like, uh, let's see. As a side Don't note, have... I did tell you that I lost in two hits as dodging the other day, right? Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. It's amazing. That's so cool. I love it. Uh, <laughs> so, if you play like a... Um, I don't know. Heartless, maybe? Yeah, I, or, I mean... I'm, I don't I mean, a... Heartless strike, empty power against clockwork, play as empty power. Yeah. Uh, and you... Yeah. No, because like, he misses. So, like... That, that's no way, actually. There's no way to actually make him hit you. But I mean, I mean that's just what I'm going to do. I mean, maybe I'm overreading it, but you have so much power deficits that even if we don't say one hit, but two hits, like right. against Election, that's not even impossible because he has so much stuff he can do that deals so much damage. And uh, Daijin, I don't think, can kill you it at 12 health. I believe you have to go down to 9, but once you're at 9, Daijin can kill you in like 15 different ways. Uh, <laughs> if you're at 9, Daijin I... can get you in a lot of ways. Yeah, exactly. Uh, evil Hickory uh, has options too. Yeah, evil, I mean, Evil Hickory can just kill you in a bunch of ways as well. And uh, Mikhail can also do it. Uh, yeah. so, uh, well, so there are... Well, most, well, I mean, even Mikhail can only do it when you have two masks. Most of those characters, I don't think Dajin can kill from three. Can he? Uh, Dajin can, Dajin can uh, deal nine, I think. Overpowering Without him, like, yeah, a finisher? Overpowering Bane no. is uh, three, five, eight, anti power nine. Yep. Ooh. So, I mean. The three power? Uh, it's two plus one. Yeah. Power. Yeah. Because he gets one and, one empowered. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, then that's, that's only. Um, so yeah, do it five, bro. And and let's face it, there are characters like uh, Bambir, for example, which just like, oh, you thought you were doing a. Uh... Oh my God, Bambir! <laughs> Bambir! Yeah, I mean, nightmare magic of yeah. Byron. Oh my God! You thought you did like a, a deathless smoke and anti two stun guard, and I'm like, but oh. we're not playing the uh, style. <laughs> oh, so oh, you're playing smoke big. with stun guard too. That seems great for you, and uh, I'm just playing like. I don't know. Drive. Drive, whatever. Oh, <laughs> that would be the worst. Playing Byron against Bamber would be 
absolutely terrible. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's I not, mean, not a good the, way you want to have against Baby. The, the problem again, uh, with Byron against Bainbeer is actually that you can't beat Spire. Um, uh, you have Hartus Drive. Really you can't beat Spire. Yeah. It, yeah. You have Hartus Drive, which clashes with some Spires. But I mean, if you, if I'm saying you can't beat Spire because he just says no styles and then you lose. <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, so most characters can't beat Spider. Um, just like that. You can strike. You can strike. It's fun. Yeah. Well, uh, so let's let's okay. finish out by talking about his finisher. Uh, I didn't sure. actually ever finish her because it's 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 not super easy. I think for Byron to finish her, right? Because of the, exactly because of the force things we mentioned, you don't get two force until you only have two mask. At which point, you know, now we're in trouble. Uh, yep. So let's start with the bad one. Or... Soulgate? Which one? Soulgate. But Soulgate uh, is amazing. Mm, what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's amazing. I, I mean, I love Soulgate. Finisher. It's three to four range, <laughs> uh, eight power, three prio with a tiebreaker, uh, zero guard, reveal four plus masks depleted, plus three priority, uh, reveal all masks depleted, the opponent cannot retreat. When this is are amazing. you going to be like? When are you? I mean, when do I want the six fire? Every game. So if, if things go well, every game. When are you taking you play... only two? When you have two, one mask? No, you play. You play solos or deathless, right? Yeah. Those are your cheat cards. Well, uh, I mean, solos is. Amazing, right? Sure. We didn't talk about that. But Solus is amazing because you have to deplete a mask. And if you play, I don't know, Solus uh, Smoke and your opponent was at range 2 or whatever, they didn't really see this coming, you can easily push them at range 3. You're down to zero masks and your Soul Gaze is now prior, uh, prior 6. Right? Sure. <laughs> You can also um, solos, and they have to dodge, or they die, and then you can dodge into this. Right? I mean, um, I guess I think you can know. also solos burst and set it up in some way. Yeah, I mean, it's it's okay. There's a lot of ways to, to it, set up this. It feels a little bit like Christmas Land, right? No, it's, like, it has six fire. So like, one once you're at at that range with your mask, it's free. You can also they're cornered and you'll reach three, four, so just, they just die. Um, the, the important part is that this is technically faster than Heartless Grasp because it has a tiebreaker, sure, tie and that's all you care about. You need I, you need priority. Priority is king. I think Six try with tiebreaker. Uh, yes. If, if that's my opponent magic. cannot advance, this card would be way better. Yeah, I mean. Uh, we don't get what we want, right? Yeah. So I, I don't disagree that like it has uses, but I don't think I. I first of all, I don't think I've ever finished it as Byron just because of the, the force, thing, mm -hmm. right? I have, I'm using my force yeah, all enough. the time during the game, and I'm only gaining one, until I'm at two, in which case I'm now gaining two, in like, I need six. Yeah. Because you always the, um, need either three or six, or not always, but like uh, I mean, if we're talking about uh, not soul trap, the other one, uh, demon gate, open gate, whatever it's called, uh, soul gate, soul gate, soul gate. There you go, something gate. Uh, <laughs> this is the one you play once you're down to one uh, zero masks, right? Yep. This is a telegraphed attack pair, uh, attack pair uh, finisher. Mm -hmm. The other one is not a telegraphed uh, finisher. This one I could see playing at six masks. I can even see myself playing this at three masks. So I'm at nine life and like, you know, playing. So, so it is worth it is noting. Never play it, it is worth noting your life becomes three times the number of masks you hold to a minimum of one at the start of beat. So if you had three masks, right? So you went to nine, and then they hit you with like a strike. Right, so they hit you for four. You go to six. You only need six force to finish her, yep. and then your life will go to nine, 
or something similar. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you know, it oh I could, really use that. And it comes up if they can't kill you from two max. So like you're at six, they hit you for three. You only need oh. three force to finish her, and then. Is that oh, rewritten? Okay. Because before it wasn't, before it checked at yeah, the before end. Yeah, before it was banned. Finish it before it was banned. Right? It's a start effect, and you have to pay for that at reveal. Or, or it was recycled. Before it was different. That's insane. That makes, that makes Soul Trap much better. Because now they can't kill you anymore. And if you can't kill Soul Trap, then Soul Trap has no weakness. It's just Hydro Form. Yeah, so you'll be. Uh, except it's a, hit, it's a hit effect instead of an after. I mean, we still has the same problems that we talked about earlier, right? Once you, if your life becomes six, uh, so it's six, three, or one, right? Like, you'll still die if you take more than your damage or more than your health. So. Uh, I guess uh, you're right, yeah, because uh, if you took damage, so, that means, yeah. Uh, so, interesting thing about the new uh, UA, because I. I played Byron like the old way all around, uh, but he doesn't have the quota of if you have one mask, like uh, yeah, if you take lives, damage. He lives through five, what six hits technically. I'm sorry. I think before he died at five, right? He he dies when he hits uh, five mask now. Before he had one life left. No, no, he doesn't die. But he still has, he still has one life. When he has no mask, it becomes a minimum. The, the difference is, the difference is the, the, the life reset. Well, the difference is also the, um, the chipping never does anything anymore. But the difference, the main difference is the divorce, right? Okay, to a That's minimum of one. Okay, sure. So, so they just res okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so you zero zero mass, your life will more, become one of the I'm a loser playing. Yeah, I just have to reread it. Sorry. But, but yeah, but okay, then the effect is, is like different. Than you normally would during reveal. So you really can surprise finisher someone, you know, uh, with like three force, and then your life will go to like uh, six if you have two masks. Uh -huh. So, like, if you're so, at, if you, yeah, if you start, the next time. so how are you planning to do this? I'm, yeah, I'm just so interested. You have two masks. Uh, yep, I have two masks. Sure. Yes. And let's say you get hit for five. Sure. Right? So you're gonna go to one. I uh, still have switch strike as my uh, attack so here, you have and this is all. And, and we're we're already uh, be, uh, after reveal, so this doesn't trigger. No, no, no. Right? we're not there yet, right? The, where this is the turn before. So I get hit by strike before so, start of beat? Reveal? Yeah. So no, this is the last turn, right? I've got two masks. You hit me with a strike for five. Okay? Yeah, I'll so take I one mask. So I one mask. I'm at one okay. life at the, at, during reveal. So I only need one force to finish her, and then I'll go to three life at the start of beat. Ah, uh, okay, fair. Uh, but everything, everything kills you. Yeah, I mean, true. So it doesn't, it only damage. matters if you go to like, yeah, if you go to six life, right? Yeah, because then that's it, different from having three yeah. or something. It's also interesting that you have this uh, because I can actually cancel your start of beat effects with uh, <laughs> Eric. Uh, Eric. Oh, yep. Eric! No, he can't. Um, he cannot you affect can. uh, UA triggers. What? Only stars and bases. Yep. Oh. Read Eric. Eric. Eric has been gutted. Yeah, I, I know uh, they remade is, Eric. This is one of the no. You can't yeah, break. That him. makes sense. Uh, I think the only thing you can break is reload. Everything else is um, on the UA. Everything that's breakable is on the UA. I mean, they, they removed uh, the end of beat trigger, I know, from his thing. Uh, so, that's fair. That's fair. So, so I figured they kept the... But it's it might be true, like you said. I can't remember right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can't whenever. confirm either. No, you know, it's fine. Also funny, you, once again, one of my favorite styles, just because of how many odd interactions it has, is uh, Blast from Cause and Windhall can kill you before your life would go up. <laughs> Amazing. If you're before, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure. That's true. Yeah, but this is it's gotta be relevant with Solas. Yeah. You dodge Solas, you go to which one, and then you blast them. I don't. But and just overall, them. I didn't. I didn't get much use out of his finishers. Like uh, every time that mm -hmm. I went to to two masks, the game was usually over 
before I finished her, and because of the thing that you were talking about, uh, MK, I was always yeah. like, I was always four starved, right? Because I'm always using stun guard on Deathless. I'm always throwing in a prio. Like I had yeah. very little force as Byron when I was yeah. playing. And and that's usually how it goes, right? So <laughs> yeah, it's it's not it's not weird. It's just <laughs> it's just the part of the game. If you're playing Byron, you're like your your stat line is like negative one of what you want it to be to play, uh, but you have cool effects to make up for it. But you still need like that plus one uh, stat line to make your stats good, and that's Byron's problem. And that's what you're getting for playing Byron. Uh, you get amazing things, but you need to anti for them. It's kind of like original Eustace. Uh, you had to anti stun guard for, to make him playable. Otherwise, he had negative one stat line <laughs> to be playable. <laughs> and it's uh, I feel like Byron has cooler effects than Eustace. Therefore, I liked him more. Uh, but, I mean, now Eustace is kind of fixed. Still not my favorite character, but, you know, he's there. He does his thing. He he's a can lot actually better. I, and I don't know why it was... I, don't, I played him in version 3, and I remember being super unhappy with him. I just didn't like him at all. And I played him in version 4, and I was pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed playing him. He's not my kind yep. of jam. I don't really like rangers at all. Um, you know, I tend to like in your face heavies. Um, I mean, that's just... He is a he is a wind uh, he's a wind one character. I mean, he has he has double drive. But he's not a ranger. Yeah, he's not a ranger. Just this. Are we are we talking about the same character? Uh, I'm talking about uh, Byron talking... right now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm like because Byron's kind of a ranger, right? And he's I'm so I yeah. don't I don't love. That usually that kind of style. Um, yeah. I tend to like to hit people for like six and seven at range one. Uh, but I'll, I'll say that. Yeah. So I'll, I'll say that Byron is most similar to Ranger, but I would say he's a range specialist, which is kind of different because he can fight at all ranges, but he needs his attack pair, like his style to do it. Uh, and sometimes you have the awkward beats where you just have to dodge randomly. Uh, and it's not always funny. <laughs> but it's there. Yeah. Any other closing yeah. thoughts on, on a Byron? I love yeah, Byron. You, you, won't, um, you won't find Solas on any other ranger, right? right. Um, no, that's true. And, oh, and that's what I say. I, like, I do have something. Okay, question that, was, that I had asked before, and I'm like, oh, I should save it for when we're actually talking about. Uh, is current Solus better than old Celestial? I mean, Solus doesn't have a resource cost. Right, but it, I mean, is is current Solus better than old Celestial? I, I wasn't that much of a fan of old Celestial, so I think, yeah. You're outrageous as a human being. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, everyone, everyone says that Celestial is super good. Um, Celestial is just a card that if you got hit, you won. Something like that. Uh, so it, if you have but if you didn't get hit, you got nothing, right? Yeah, you, you got like two mana back. All your it damage became everything. life loss instead, life and loss. you didn't lose any life, you gained magic. Yeah. Magic, yeah. yeah I so, mean, so if you took a lot of damage, you just said you got a lot of life. Got a mana. You, and you also got plus two I mean, mana because... Because no damage, right? It's obviously a really good style, but I think Solus is his is Byron's best style of doing much like. And what do you think? What makes Byron Byron? I feel like <clears throat> new Solus is a bit too good. Like I liked old Solus because you could, in theory, like strike through it. Um, you you had to have like. A crazy amount of power to do it, but you could kill someone at one mask uh, in old Solus. Oh yeah, the, the Solus had got armor, right? It had one, one armor. armor for each. Reduced, uh, yeah, yeah, it, it had power, soak yeah. one for oh, yeah. each deplete, depleted mask, I think. Yeah, which yeah. was that was, which was like mm, it, it was it wasn't a fun trade, 
but sometimes you could actually like punch through Solus, uh, and that's kind of amazing to me. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, the thing is, you're you're not gonna kill yourself with Solus, right? The end uh, trigger. If you uh, if you have no a depleted mask, you're eliminated. If you could not. This is not gonna happen. This is a lie. Oh, it is. It is. It is. It is. I mean, the only because time at, at zero masks, at zero masks, you can play this and go. You dodge and I lose, or you don't dodge and I win. All right, I think yeah, that's exactly. exactly. Form, yeah, this right? is a like, classic fifty fifty. Because probably right? Solus is what got you to zero mass, right? Because it's it's really hard to only no, I guess less deathless. Sure, you play uh, outside smoke, of death, so it's really hard to only take two damage when someone's at three. Yeah. So usually we, it would be like you solist, and now we've like nulled until it's back, and it's like now you're back in the same scenario or something where it's like it's not it's not that hard. Um, you can land like a heartless at two masks, then you go to one, and then you play deathless, and then you play solus, and there you go. There's I a mean, zero mass solus. It's it's a very easy. I mean, yeah. it is it is there, right? But it's not gonna happen. You're gonna play soulless, and you're gonna play soulless shot, and you're gonna play soulless, and you're gonna play soulless uh, smoke if something okay, happens. Right. And... I, do. I, I mean, fair. Drive the problem is soulless. Well. soulless drive. The problem is you can actually be clashed, uh, yeah, and sure. once <laughs> soulless is down, you have a problem. If you're not in the corner, if you're in the corner, it's probably fine anyway. But keep in mind, you know. <laughs> You know, in those scenario, scenarios where I'm talking about if we're in melee, like you're mm. you're still gonna trade down only by one. Right? At range one, you will only ever trade down with a solus by one. Well the problem is solus is down and you're on range one. That's the real problem. Sure. It's not that solus is down. It's not that you it's not that you'd miss with solus, it's that solus is down, you under traded, something Baron really hates, and, and you lost position. I agree with all that. But it's still not worse than it not happening, like you not chipping them too. Oh. All right, it's so, better so, than not playing. Everything else is better against Dodge because then you can Solus. Um, and then Solus is free, and then you actually get the uh, six damage in, in, on top of the chip. So since every other style is better than Solus against Dodge, Solus is bad against Dodge. That's just how that works. So the thing is about Solus. This is a little bit too much of his power level. I would like this to be worse to like pump up like small things in the other things. Uh, like uh, let's say face that gets stun guard one or two. two like yes. stun, stun, no, let's say stun guard one. Just stun guard two, one like makes it's a, so it's a minor have... thing. I was right? saying the same thing. Stun guard one on faceless means that I can anti stun guard, and suddenly it's really good. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And that's kind of the thing, right? Uh, you're still doing the thing that Byron usually does, right? He has to anti stun guard for the things to make sense. But uh, a lot of his economy, his power level, is unfortunately put into Solus. Um, and I'm not saying it's wrong, because it's not. It's, it is how he works. But I feel like it would be a bit more fun if you don't like have the ship two on Solus and you put like some of that power onto his other things. But that's from my own like uh, playing with uh, with Byron, and I feel like um, people don't usually play Byron to that level and stuff like that. Maybe uh, or maybe I'm like full of myself and I people will tell like, you angrily. In uh, the comments field, later. Range two, gain two force. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why would you buff them like that? <laughs> yeah, mean, that's just taking away. Take it, Solus worse, right? So we're gonna take power from Solus and we're gonna put it somewhere else on his kit. I, yeah. I would like reveal face or reveal range two faces, gain two force. Yeah. Maybe only one force. It might be a little bit too strong for two. Um, and and let's face it, faceless is already like. It's it's good. This thing has been uh, boosted from its uh, yep. previous it iteration, right? The the theming, right, of the the stuff that happens at range, 
right? Because everything mm-hmm. else, the only range that's missing here is two, which used it's to be on old faces. So if you were going to take from Solus, then, you know, flavor wise, yeah. I would love to have something range two on faces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Fire Slash should have hit range to push up on one. That would be ridiculously good, yeah, but it's fine. Really it doesn't actually dodge anything. Like, I mean, it would be too good with, with glass, but. Yeah, I, I don't know, it, but but you see what I'm talking about, right? Solus, we've talked a bunch about Solus, and like the other cards have been nudged upon, uh, but Solus mm-hmm. is like some kind of core to the character. And I tend to want characters not to have... Like, they should have good styles, right? No, Otherwise you wouldn't play them. Otherwise, just click it in. Just clock work. Just clock work. <laughs> <laughs> I want fine clock work. But yeah, uh, you have... Uh, Byron has a lot of tricky styles, right? It has this minimum range, but then you get to sell less and you go like, well, why am I playing at range when I can just sell this? And yeah. Solas is indeed just better than every single one of his cards, individually, of course. The problem with yeah. Solas is you only have one. Okay, but yeah. if you had the, uh, yeah. the, even if you had one more good range one card, you would just play with one. Because, you know, play Solas, play that other card, dodge. And Solas just carries you to victory. Yeah. And he doesn't have that. I'm super thankful that he doesn't have that. Like, not a no-brainer, like, let's say Faceless had plus two power and plus one priority instead, or something crazy like that, and you're suddenly <laughs> like, oh yeah, this this seems balanced and fun, so let's face <laughs> something possibly dodged. So let's yeah, and it. It, it, and if, if anyone goes to range, you just play your other cards that I think exist. Yeah, exactly, then you have three uh, sides. So that's not what I'm looking for, but, you know, Solus doesn't need the ship two. It would still be amazing at plus three power, you can take damage. Uh, it's it's good. Trust me, guys. Yes, it was, it was probably good. need more power. One more power, please. Um, <laughs> one more power. I need more power. Yeah, yeah at, least, right. at least one more power. Yeah. So just let's reveal on, on, on Byron, and I want to ask you. This guys, needs to win, beats. This kept just like itself. I do want to ask you guys. So, who do we want to talk about next? And I originally I had suggested either Hepsiva or Illumis, and you correctly pointed out that uh, really those are just like big numbers on cards, which is great, but you know, there's not a lot to talk about those. I mean, so I to talk we have to talk cards. about big numbers of cards as well, because uh, let's face it, like, this is interesting to me, but there are people who just want to know, like, how how do you play big number of cards? Especially, like, my, my example is always Vanna, because Vanna is, to me, I look, Vanna. I have big number of cards, and I have all of the big numbers. Um, like, not the biggest numbers, but enough t- big numbers that you should recognize and fear me. Uh, <laughs> um, and Vanna has some interesting balancing. Uh, so, that said... Yeah. Where I was going to go with this, though, is I wanted to talk about someone who's been changed a lot, right? And who are the big three that were changed a lot? Well, uh, there were four, actually. So one of these four. We could talk about Eric, we could talk about Vasala, we could talk about Otavia, or we could talk about uh, Boko. I'm less uh, I'd about like to Boko. talk about Eric. Eric? But no, no, I guess not. I guess not. Eric would be fine. Not after Byron. Because they're both Trixie. Yeah. Uh, I think we should actually go for like a more base down character. Um, if you want to go Hepsiba, because there are some trickery you can do with Hepsiba, that's fine. If and if you want to, I'm open to play someone simple like. I could talk, like, for an hour about uh, Karen. Uh, oh! Even, uh, even... She is tricky, but she's not tricky in the way that... Um... You want to... No, that's fine. No, no, uh, we could is... Because I know that you play a lot of... Or had played a lot of Kajia mix. Kajia? Sure. Is that her name? I thought it was... Is it Ka... Oh. How do you say this? Kajia? 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 Ka- 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 Kajia. Kajia? No. Sure. There's no either, right? It's it's Kajia. Okay, Kajia. I also had Kajia. I, I always said that. Like, um, but she's Trixie as, as well. If you want someone like simple, simple, I mean, she's pretty simple. She's really she's a, she's a grappler. Yeah, she's a grappler. 
Fair enough. She has a bunch of effects because okay, of her way. Who are you but she's I, I'm fine with like playing. Uh, you talked about uh, going for um, like Pendrus. No, I think no. <laughs> I'd rather talk uh, about Ray than Pendrus if we're going. Hey, Pendra is very interesting. <laughs> Let's go all the big numbers and go Benvir all over. Uh, that, that's actually not bad. Yeah. I mean, ben, 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 Benvir is just big stats as well, but it's big stats with a like small thing attached. Mm -hmm. Um let's yeah, see. there's a character we can talk about. Which one? <laughs> Darius? Uh yeah, sure. Darius is so Darius has both. Has, he has both. numbers and he has effects. I mean the the, pro the problem with the uh Darius is that he's so matchup dependent what's good and what's yeah, not good. I agree with I that. Really it is. There you go. I don't know. I mean, he just moves around, right? Oh, yeah, no. I mean, he dodged. Well, he, he dodged it one in three. Uh, huh. Yeah. Who else? Do you... I don't want to talk about like someone like Wellsy. Uh, I don't feel like we should go into solo fighters yet, but maybe that's just. We, me. Are, we already did to some extent. Uh, I know that Wentz. Uh, once it ships, I know we. I definitely want to talk about it. Okay, okay, I know. Uh, we should talk about Kasala. She has not a lot of effects, and she has oh, stats. She's changed a lot. Yeah. She has a lot of stats, and she was changed uh, a lot. Like, she's not the same character, I mean, and she has effects, and she has really cool way. Um, sure. I think we should talk about her. I'm, I'm fine with Kasala. It's what? like, but it, it's not the same character, and no, uh, it is not. Which is exactly like what I'm talking about her, right? Yeah, that's yeah. fair. That's fair. Let's go to Sala. What is it? Is it tempered? Or... Anyway, yeah, so we'll talk about that, and we'll do it in, like, two weeks or whatever. Uh, so let's... <laughs> whenever we get around to it. Yeah, whenever we get around to it. <laughs> uh, so Sala's a good choice, because if you remember sure. playing old... I, I tell this joke all the time. Um, I thought I was pretty okay at the game, uh, but really I just found out that I was maining to Sala in version 3. Yeah, uh, and like yeah. game's pretty easy when you get to do whatever you want. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so let's, let's talk about the solid next time, and let's uh, go ahead and end it there, guys. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to say one more thing. Um, Brian's a pretty unique character, uh, yeah. but who else is like him? Because uh, I, I, I don't know who is like Byron. Awesome. It would have to be, I would say like uh, Caitlyn, maybe? I mean, it's C Caitlyn is a different form of it, like where it's range specific weirdness kind of stuff, right? <laughs> but it's. Uh -huh. I mean, we're going to talk about it's... range specific weirdness, Wellsy, right? I mean, well, Wellsy is. But Wellsy is more like a pure ranger. And meanwhile, Kaja is like. I mean, Caitlyn, sorry, uh, is. She's just weird. It's well, Caitlyn is a pure ranger as well, but yeah, she we'll definitely has that. a melee tools. Which we'll say um, that, but I like it's axiomatic transposition or a limit will strike people at range one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't strike. I mean, there is nothing better than dividing by zero, though. So, oh, 100 percent. Yeah, and then, yeah, just uh, playing range one. Disagree. I have been hit by reading fate. That is eh, the worst. <laughs> Because it's on Seth, is worse than getting hit by Divide by Zero. The, the thing is, uh, Divide by Zero makes the game unplayable for you. Meanwhile, <laughs> getting hit by Read by Faith just says that, do you have anything that be wins this beat automatically? Otherwise, you lose. Right. Uh, I mean... Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> they feel very similar, right? Against Seth, it's like, this game is now unplayable. I mean, no. It's, it's The thing is, it's not. If you're playing like Magdalena and you have... Or level four, you can just say, "I play Switch Drive." Do you have anything that beats this? Seth looks at his card and says, "I don't," and, and well, cries in the corner. He's just like, "Yeah, I've got this card that just says, if you play Drive, I stun you." <laughs> I mean, he can do that once. He can do that once. Yeah, he probably die because that's his finisher, right? He deals like uh, eight, seven damage if you play Mimi, and then, and then you die. Because uh, you got hit by reading fate. Also, reading fate is like 
like his good finisher, and you can meme out and just go uh, yeah, Fortune Buster. Fortune Buster yeah. Against 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 Magdalena. Okay, awesome. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> as, as much as as much as Winning Fight is amazing, the Vibe by Zero is better. Vibe by Zero wins the game. There is there is no checkmate. There is nothing you can do. Um, yeah. so there, there, there we is, have um, character specific tools, and yeah, those are really good. So there is some fun thing uh, where you like get hit by uh, reading fate, and you reveal it is you reveal your is it reveal style or base? I can't remember. It's style. Style. style? It's base, okay. it's the lord. If it's, yeah, dude, she would just get automatically, of course, I, or he would get automatically. But the thing I, is, uh, then you start playing like, and you play your switch, and your opponent realizes that he can't get out because his dash is down. Um, dodge dash whatever is down and uh, he can't go before your divide by zero and then you That's just sneak in his divide by zero so both fortune uh, like not fortune buster but uh, reading fate and divide by zero is in play at the same time mm-hmm. and then you realize that dividing divide by zero is better and he loses because yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you can't keep the divide doesn't matter what style you can't so let's, let's uh let's end on byron here and we'll talk about uh, Fasala next time. I'm down to talk about sure. Caitlyn too. I like. I actually like Caitlyn. I think she's good. And I mean, Caitlyn is I don't good. And, like she, and she she's different now as well. So you know, yeah. she's wildly different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just changing the UA and just like completely. Yeah. yeah. Thanks all for listening. Hope you have a great day. Bye bye. Yeah.